New tonight, Ohio is one of three states to receive funding from Ford Motor Company to invest in their production of electric vehicles. Uh, I'm with you. It is such a welcome change. Yeah. I love this news, too. Neil Fisher is out at the Ford site in Sheffield tonight. Neil, good afternoon to you. This certainly is great news for our area. What did Ford leaders have to say today about this project? Hey, good evening, guys. It's a very exciting time here in Lorain County as Ford announced a one and a half billion dollar investment and the addition of 1800 jobs here at the Ohio Assembly Plant. Ford thinking of the future and the production of electric vehicles. Ford is powering forward, looking to create two million electric vehicles in the next four years. We are going to create 6200 new UAW jobs and invest $3.7 billion in Ford plants across the Midwest. Each plant in Missouri, Michigan, and here in Ohio, creating different electric products. The Ohio assembly plant will build Ford's new commercial electric vehicle. And Governor Mike DeWine here today in Lorain County saying this is the future and it's happening right here in Lorain County. All right, Neil, so we've got all those cars in the next four years, lots to do here. So when does construction begin? So construction will begin here at the plant this year. They'll build a few new structures. The assembly of the products will be in two to three years. So by 2026, you're going to start seeing those new vehicles out on the roads. Wow, Neil, obviously a great addition for our community. Did they mention the troubled times that the plant has been through in the past? and? where they're going. They did. They talked about the threatening of closure of the plan in 2007, but primarily they focused on what's new, what's happening in the future. A $1 billion investment from Ford over the next five years going towards workplace conditions for their employees. So obviously a bright future here at the Ohio Assembly Plant mm. and bright future for Ford. Certainly exciting stuff. I mean, the Intel plant going in near Columbus. Absolutely. We've got this one that's coming here. It's great news for the state of Ohio and for all of us, really. Nick, or sorry, Neil, thank you so much for bringing us the good news. Well, since electric vehicles are becoming increasingly popular, we decided to take a look at some of the stats. According to Bankrate, more than 59,000 hybrid and electric cars were sold in the month of February. That is up about 69% from last February. Yeah, in the first three months of 2022, 112,000 hybrid and battery powered cars were sold. Reuters is reporting that by 2035, and that really isn't that long away, it's 13 years, 45% of new car sales could be all electric. And by 2050, the cars on the road, half of them will be electric. Now, we aren't the only ones who are taking notice of all of this because GM up and announced that they will be cutting the price of the 2023 Chevy Bold electric vehicle. It'll now come down six grand, so it'll cost about $26,000. They say that is to stay competitive. Wait a minute. The price of something is going down? Coming down. Now, I have to say there is one little catch in all of this, and that would be going throwback to that Intel comment that I made. Chips. There's yeah. this massive of chip shortage. There are thousands of vehicles sitting right now in Lorain County waiting on chips and they just can't get them. Of course, by the time the production starts on these electric vehicles, hopefully everything will be yeah. caught up. And, and not just here locally. Detroit's right. got tens of thousands of vehicles, brand new, ready to be owned by us. And they're sitting there minus a part that's this big. Right. And they just don't have enough of them. That's why this Intel uh, plant in Columbus is so pivotal. Mm -hmm. The one thing that we learned from COVID was that our supply chain is too reliant on other countries. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of the offshoring that we've done from the 90s on, we're looking at that and reevaluating it and saying, we can't outsource everything, right. we, the, the, especially the critical things. We have to make more things here, and that's good for manufacturing jobs and the economy. And Ohio's going, come on, yep. Ohio. We've got a lot of experience in manufacturing. Happy to have you.